Greetings all, Fanny here for Aquarius's daily oracle message. Aquarius, I hope you guys are having a good day and you had a good Thanksgiving break. Okay. Oh dear, where'd you go? Don't you fall out. So, let me adjust you back in your holster here, Aquarius. The first card I want to read to you today is Universe. We are all stardust. We come from the stars and we come... I personally believe we come to the earth to experience what it means to be human, what it means to love people on this realm, what it means to go through pain, sadness, darkness, and depression. And it's all teaching us to think before we judge because every person is fighting a battle you know nothing about. People that are rude to you on the streets may not know the war that you are fighting in your mind, similarly to other people that you run into. So I really think it's important to just approach people with general kindness. Now that doesn't mean you let people walk all over you. Gods know. I never want anyone to think that I am ever saying that you need to become a doormat for someone because that is the worst feeling in the world. It's to just have people use you, wipe off their muck, and and just abuse your energy. And sadly that happens more often than it should. But what I mean is be open and be kind to people because there might be something very important about their life that they are going through right now that you just simply are not privy to. You have, you can always rewrite the story because some people may place you as a villain in their story and you don't have to hold to that narrative. You have the ability to shift that and become your own story, become the master of your destiny. You have spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. And that could literally mean, don't be afraid to use your voice. Don't be afraid to speak up for yourself. Especially if Aquarius, you have gone through situations where people have tried to, excuse me, people have tried to bring you down to a, a low vibrational place, a place of lack, a place of greed, of negativity, of anger, fear. If people have tried to pull you down to there, you don't have to subscribe to that. You don't have to continue to live in that energy. You have liberation. The doubts and fears still come up. You no longer believe that they are you. They are not your identity. They are not your ego and they have no control over you. You will still have doubts. You will still have anxieties. You will still have fears. That's part of the human experience. But you don't have to let them take over you. You have non-duality. Let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to that inner divine. You can become fluent at doing both. This is ultimately the point of spirituality, is to have the connection to the inner divine and the higher divine, but also live your life as a human being. And that is a beautiful balance. I love that so much for you, Aquarius, because the struggle that you are going through, because I do believe, I, I feel that, like, that you are going through a struggle right now. It's, it's all going to come together. So remain in the present. Remain in the here and now, my love. You have the, the purple token of love itself and the little mushroom. Now, you know, mushrooms grow out of what has been decayed, out of what has been left behind. And it may feel like you've had to be several different people and be in several different places may even feel like that you're out of your own time if you've never really felt like you belonged but things are shifting into place right now my love so ultimately Aquarius what I want you to focus on is making yourself happy and whatever that is yeah you have change and acceptance coming through radical acceptance in the now opens the flow and the change card states, when the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you come to the sacred crossroads of your own evolution. Exactly. So maybe this crossroads, I, I just keep looking back at the feather card and the think before you judge. The ego is what places the judgment upon ourselves and other people. The part of our mask and personality that we push out to the world consciously to see. The... Think of it as like the um, the player that we are, the, the character that that we choose to be in the uh, in, like in your Skyrim creator. But you don't have to hold on to everything that that is because the ego is only part of who you are as a person, as a soul. 
and it is ever shifting and ever changing, especially when you allow it to do so. When you allow yourself to change, to grow up, to glow up and become a new version of who you are. Accepting that you are perfect as you are and allowing yourself to be a continuous evolving masterpiece. And Aquarius, whatever challenges you are going through right now, you have the ability to see it through, my love, because you are a divine, powerful creature of the universe. And we need you here. So please share your voice, share your light, and share your kindness with the world. Because there's not enough of that out there right now. And we need more of you, Aquarius. We need more of that happiness. We need more of that joy to bring about the bridging between the physical world and the metaphysical world so that people can have the peace and acceptance in themselves instead of relying it to come from something outside of themselves, something that makes it conditional. Love is not conditional. Spirit is not conditional. Spirit is all-encompassing love. So when you come back to that energy of just true acceptance, you realize you need nothing and no one because it all comes from yourself. And that's a wonderful feeling to have. Have a beautiful day, Aquarius.